library of platformers inspired by hits of the past is remarkably vast and varied. While not every attempt harkens back to the retro era lands, the sheer amount and degree of effort employed by numerous developers show that there's a sense of magic derived from these classics. Smelter is a bold endeavor of a platformer with classic systems, but with incorporations of a real-time strategy feature. While the strategical element felt out of place, it was a decent inclusion with the stellar platforming segments. Smelter focuses on the protagonist Eve and the titular character who calls himself Smelter. After Eve's significant other Adam falls victim to the fruit of temptation, he ends up vanishing without a trace. After wandering for a while, Eve encounters a talking set of armor who introduces himself as Smelter. The two end up choosing to work together and Eve ends up wearing him as armor to boost her combative and exploratory prowess. Eve desires to find her beloved Adam, while Smelter seeks to expand his overall reign and influence across the land. Gameplay in Smelter is split between two components, platforming and strategical expansion. The platforming is simple enough to parse and is arguably where you will be spending most of your time. Players traverse several stages that all evoke varying atmosphere and produce unique enemies, challenges, and more. First and foremost, it is vital to point out that this is a challenging title that echoes the difficulty many classic games are known for. In, in particular, Smelter heavily reminds me of the Mega Man X series when it comes to movement. There are a fair amount of skills unlocked through the story progression that all serve as Eve's movement options or combat capabilities. Platforming is highly dependent on proper timing. There are checkpoints scattered throughout the stages, with each progressing smoothly to avoid any awkward inputs. The stages all require patience, but the difficulty never becomes obscenely overwhelming. While I would certainly not describe this title as accessible to beginners of the genre, it presents just the right degree of challenge for those who are starting to step up to more punishing platformers. There is a more action-oriented direction in stages, as there are many moments that require either avoidance or negation of projectiles. There is also combat, but it is quite straightforward and not at all contrived in execution. Rather than being a centerpiece attraction for progression, it is more of a light add-on to the platforming sections. Throughout the stages, there are collectibles to find called Apple Cores and Moxie Deposits, which are all used to various gameplay-related upgrades. The true fun lies in finding them, which can sometimes be tricky, though their placements really felt overly obtuse. The majority of these collectibles simply require remembering which pathways you haven't taken, which can sometimes be easily overlooked. Trials also adorn the stages, and these are platforming challenges that can be retried infinitely until the player succeeds. The trials were honestly amongst the gameplay's highlights as the tension they admitted provided a thrill the rest of the game simply didn't have. Enemies will occasionally spit out projectiles, which is unfortunate as I would have liked more pure platforming sequences during these trials. The other gameplay component I have neglected to discuss is the strategical expansion that occurs when you play a smelter on the map. These sequences are incredibly overwhelming when they are first introduced. There's tutorial after tutorial to point you where to go, but this ends up guiding the player's actions for a bit too long for my liking instead of letting the player experiment and figure out the mechanics independently. Still, the UI can be a tad muddling to comprehend at points thanks to the font size and type. While the strategic expansion is not arduous to deal with after playing around with it after a while, I definitely would have vastly preferred the game to be a platformer entirely. This gameplay divide is certainly unique and in no doubt gives the title a stronger sense of identity and dual appeal, but it can very well do just the opposite. Rather than hone in on one genre or the other, it creates a clash that I didn't quite feel fit. The map's art style is charming and nostalgic, however aside from the generic appearance, this was still much of a genre clash for me to really be on board with, especially considering that the platforming sequences are really what I was playing for. Other players may feel differently and find this to be a breath of fresh air, but I found it to be needless in the grand scheme of things. In regards to the narrative, I was extremely entertained. The game constantly cracks jokes and makes jabs at the predicament it presents to its characters. This tone did not serve to hinder the game's confidence in itself either, since the ambience of the experience as a whole was serious to the extent without fully relying on tongue-in-cheek comedy. The soundtrack is also stellar as it does a truly wonderful job of whisking players back to the era of 16-bit platformers. Smelter ended up scratching any itch I had to play a new and fulfilling platformer. Through its tight and responsive controls, challenging level design, and non-intrusive combat, this is a must-play title for any who have desired a new experience in this genre. The strategical element can either be a turn-off or further enhancement depending on the player, but I still think the game is worth playing with that risk in mind. Noisy Pixel is giving Smelter an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.
Mais, 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 mais,